Operation guides for making wrapping mold. Cut the wood board and the vacuum tank. The vacuum tank is used to pour raw materials and it can prevent the raw materials spilling out of the silicon rubber mold when vacuuming. Fix the mold on the vacuum tank, then fix them on the board. The vacuum tank should be larger than or equal to the size of the mold. Cover the mold, the vacuum tank, and the wood board with the clean. The clean cannot be too hard. It cannot be any gaps between the mold and the clean. We would cover the original mold with a thin layer of plastic film to make it easier to clean the clean. Smooth the surface of the clean. Brush a layer of detergent or soft water evenly to make the clean cannot stick with the plaster. Pour the plaster in the sensor. The plaster should be vacuumed. Considering the structure of the sensor, make a latch on the plaster when the plaster does not cure completely. This to make it easier to fix with the out mode. Make the mold line with the slim wire. The mold line should be close to the mold and it's easier to demold with a diagonal mold line.
surround the mold with wood board and seal the slit with hot melt glue. a layer of masonry evenings on the surface of the plaster and the clay, which can make it easier to demold. Pour the plaster into the mold. Pull the mold knife and divide the out mold into pieces why the plaster does not cure completely. Remove the wood board and take out the plaster outmost. Clean the clean, make two material pouring holes. Or we could make two clean columns on the clean before making the plaster outmost. Paint a layer of benzene evening inside the outmost, which can make it easier to demold. Wash the original mold with detergent and dry it with an air gun. The detergent can be used to demold. Place the original mold with the plaster out mold. Place the whole mold on the board with the hot melt glue and seal the slit.
Fix the pouring hot on the outer mold with hot metal glue. Mix silicon rubber and curing agent. Part A is a kind of white flowing liquid and part B is the curing agent. The proportion of part A and part B depends on the air temperature. Generally, the proportion is 2% to 5%. Choose the type of silicon rubber which depends on the structure and the size of the product. Here, we can use HY620 silicon rubber. Mix part 8 and part B evenly. It spans about 1 to 3 minutes, which depends on the amount of silicon rubber. Then pour them into the pouring hole. When compared to negative 0.1 ampere, it can exhaust the bubbles from the silicon rubber mold. Otherwise, it could leave some granules on the surface of product. Reduce the proportion of curing agent if you don't have a vacuum pump machine, which can extend the curing time to exhaust the bubbles. Remove the outer mold and take out the silicon rubber mold after the silicon rubber is cured. Make the mold night on the silicon rubber mold. It should be made in serrated shape or wavy shape which can gather the silicon rubber mold much better. At the moment, the operation has finished. The silicon rubber mold can use into production after 24 hours. The silicon rubber mold should be stored in ventilated, cool and dry place.